Hey there, this is MathCamp321, giving you a lesson on integration by substitution, this time dealing with an extra variable. This type of substitution is a little bit on the challenging side, so you're going to really want to pay attention. In number 13, I'm going to allow u to be 2x plus 1. Differentiating both sides of this equation by x, I get du dx equals 2. Cross multiplying, I get du equals 2dx. And then realizing that there's no 2 in our integrand, I'm going to divide both sides by 2, giving me 1 half du equals dx. Now my objective is going to be to rewrite this integrand in terms of u. And you'll notice that we start with an x. What I'm going to need to do is take this top equation here and solve for x. Make it say x equals. And this is going to be done in terms of u. So I'm going to start by saying 2x equals u minus 1. And now I'll divide both sides by 2. Okay, so my first maneuver is going to be to substitute this new expression for x into our integrand. And now I'll rewrite the square root of 2x plus 1 as root u, or u to the 1 half. And this dx that occurs at the end is the same as this dx here at the bottom of the box, which is 1 half du. And I'll put that 1 half out in front. Now my next maneuver is going to be to take this 2 that's in the denominator and bring it out in front, giving me a net of 1 fourth out in front. And now I'm going to distribute the u to the 1 half through to the u and then to the 1. So I'm going to end up getting u to the 3 halves minus u to the 1 half. And now I'm going to find the antiderivative of each of these terms. The power of 3 halves becomes 5 halves, and I'll multiply by the reciprocal 2 fifths. The power of 1 half becomes 3 halves, and its reciprocal would be 2 thirds. Now I'll distribute the 1 fourth through. This gives me 2 twentieths or 1 tenth u to the 5 halves. I'll distribute 1 fourth through again, giving me negative 2 twelfths or negative 1 sixth u to the 3 halves. And now I'll finally back substitute in for u. So here we have our first example of integration by substitution in which there is an extra variable. It's a little bit of a tougher case and you really want to focus to all the little details along the way. Let's try another example. Okay, problem number 15 is another example of integration by substitution in which we're going to deal with an extra variable. Let's start by selecting u. I'm going to use u equals x plus 4. Differentiating both sides with respect to x, I get du dx equals 1. Cross multiplying, I get du equals dx. Now I notice in my original problem that there's this x that's just floating around. So I'm going to need to come up with an expression for x in terms of u. And I'll use the top equation in the box to do that. If u equals x plus 4, then x equals u minus 4. And now I'm ready to rewrite my originally stated problem in terms of u. So we're going to have 2 times x, but our new expression for x is going to be u minus 4 plus 1 divided by the square root of x plus 4, or the square root of u, or u to the 1 half. Now it ends with dx, and dx is the same as du. I'm going to distribute on top and add 1. So we end up getting as our numerator 2u minus 8 plus 1, or 2u minus 7. Now I'm going to implement a many over 1 procedure which is essentially like division, 2u over u to the 1 half will be 2u to the 1 half, and then minus 7u to the negative 1 half. And now I'm ready to take the antiderivative. I'll start by writing 2. I'll leave some space. The power of 1 half rises to a 3 halves. I multiply by its reciprocal, which would be 2 thirds. I'll leave some space again. I'll raise the power of negative 1 half to positive 1 half. 
the reciprocal of that will be 2, and then I'll not forget to put plus C. I'm going to go ahead and clean that up now, saying 4 thirds U to the 3 halves minus 14 U to the 1 half. And for the final step, I'm going to back substitute in for U. So hopefully through these two examples, you have a better idea of how to deal with integration by substitution in which there is an extra variable.